wind power is everywhere, renewable, and yet it only covers 5% of our electricity. The European Union is therefore funding a series of projects aimed at increasing the shares of wind turbines in our energy supply. By 2020, the European goal is that 20% of the power will come from renewable energy. A large part of that will happen offshore because there you have very good wind resources and space. And there we have a technical challenge in that we need to go from the present size range from 3 to 5 megawatt up to 5 to 10 megawatts. For turbines to grow in power, they will have to grow in size. But the production, transportation and maintenance of larger blades and rotors would be unaffordable by the current standards. New innovations are necessary to make wind energy more cost efficient. In the research project Upwind, financed by the European Commission, we have looked at new blade technologies, new control strategy for blades and the laser measurement systems measuring wind speed and turbulence structures. Such innovations open the path towards next generation turbines, which will mainly be deployed offshore. There, on the open sea, experts also exploit the possibility to obtain energy from waves, tides and currents in what they call combined offshore platforms. What we try to do in the marina platform is to look after combining these effects in order to bring down the cost secondary to maximize the output of a single site area in the, in the sea and finally uh, try to balance and to couple all the resource and the output by having a much more stabilized production of energy. Marine energies offer the EU a reliable means to reduce its carbon emissions while securing its energy supply and remaining competitive. Although plenty of exploration remains to be done, in terms of research the EU definitely has the wind beneath its wings.